Keisha, why don't you need to write a book? You, I feel like there's so much that goes on in your life. I feel like Wait. I'm too early for a book. I just, but I mean, so much. I, it, it'd be a lot going on. I've no, you're not too early for a book. This is like part one. Your book, <laughs> and then I'm sure right. the last half of your life is gonna be full of stuff too. So, or writing down these stories that we tell you that need to be in a book, so you make sure you include them. Now, you were yeah. telling us about. I, I I was saying my my a part of my two fell out last night, and I gotta think about how much money this is gonna cost. And you said you got your teeth done right before COVID, right? Yes. Well, right in the midst of COVID. So after, remember when the world opened up the first time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then I had came into some money, <laughs> and I got mine. They didn't. Yeah, I had to too. pay, so I paid six thousand for it. But this is all a bridge right here. Um, mm -hmm. Remember when I was raising money on? Uh, you remember this because I did zooming with the homies, and I got like five hundred from y'all. <laughs> from my, everybody was like, "It's to get the toothpicks because what happened is I had lost this. I oh. got I got mad money that time from everybody on Zooming with the homies yeah. because the the tooth that I had in there had fell out. It was just like a push up. Um, they had did it wrong back in the day, but I had lost that tooth in a dominoes game in college, right? And are you for real? Ass. Wait, hold on. I'm dead ass. We could call my best friend on the phone. Not only that, I dominoed and got 20. And right when I hit the table, it said domino, like slammed down, the tooth fell out. And, and I was in Idaho playing with the Idaho football players, dead ass. Grown bunch of niggas at the table. And Demisha just. And what? Was, oh my God. I'll never forget. And it, it wasn't painful. It wasn't, it just came out when I said domino, y'all. People still talk about that story to this day. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> I mean, could you just everybody was just like you gotta laugh uh, at yourself so you're not embarrassed, but I was highly embarrassed, but I had to play it off. Hey, Buzz, Buzz, did you still fuck after? No, I wasn't I, I didn't hit my whole face till 27. I wasn't fucking in college. Oh, I know my shit started late. Happen? I, I was no. like, if you lost the tooth, you gotta still, you know what I mean, make something happen. <laughs> can't, can't let nothing hold you be back. Stuck with their tooth messed up, BT. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, you when you got that one face, you got the what you used to call your little canine. You got that. Uh, so yeah, so when I got the bridge, I went ahead and got the caps put over my little teeth because y'all, you know, was calling me land shark and shit like that. I was over it, so I went and got. Oh. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. Ooh. I forgot you had them little sharpies. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. the Who's little teeth. I don't know who was. It might have been. They said I opened tuna cans like this. They, I mean, y'all had a lot of jokes. It was cold, but. Oh. Uh, yeah. oh. So I got it. I got them for uh, for six thousand. Oh yeah, they don't care about your insurance. Why are you laughing, BT? Oh, they said you opened tuna can. <laughs> <laughs> that was the real Dracula Jones. Okay, fighting the shit out of people, but. That's uh. <laughs> I really thought you had done that to your. You know how you get your teeth filed. I was like, oh, Kanisha got Why her teeth filed. Like, that, no, I don't know. I don't know. I've seen it before. Boy, the no. shit people say about you be the funniest shit. I remember <laughs> when I had when I had my flat top, niggas. Uh, when somebody called me, goddamn Moesha, daddy, nigga, I was. Like, <laughs> This this gonna be a, it's gonna be it's gonna be a rough go at it, baby. <laughs> Wait, did you leave the flat top on or did you get it like? No, nah, I, I rocked the flat top way longer than I was supposed to because I had made a I had shot a movie on my own and knew I was gonna have to go back and pick up another day. I was like, I got to hold this bitch. So <laughs> I ain't had no budget for posts, and I looked up and four years had passed. I was like, shit. No, 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 <laughs> you the flat top nigga. I was like, well, no, technically it was supposed to be like just a phase. <laughs> and I was supposed to be going back to uh, you really had that flat top for a while. I need to see a picture with the flat top. Oh, that flat, most yeah, that his, flat top. Most of his comedy videos have the flat top in there. Yeah. Oh, that flat top. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call him uh we call him Low Blade. <laughs> Low Blade what? X. Right. Dear, I was uh I dressed up one day as Blade for Halloween and the nigga called me Knife. <laughs> you was getting it bad. <laughs> oh, rough time. That's really 
why he was wearing the scarves. Y'all don't know. He was over the flat. So like, you know, let me oh, throw these scarves on here. Man, let me, let me cover this shit up. You ain't seen that scarf since, since I cut that shit. Oh my oh. gosh, I almost died off of that BT. The knife. Oh my god. Well, what up? We talking about BT scarves? Yeah, no, no, no. Go, go back to uh, Buzz lost a tooth in the domino game. Yeah, Kanisha, <laughs> Kanisha lost a tooth in the in the domino game while she yelled domino, the tooth fell out of her mouth. She got her teeth oh, fixed. You know, she used wait. to have the little sharp tooth. And we were talking about yeah. insults that you remember that people hit you with. And she said, somebody said she used to open up cans of cat food with her sharp tooth. <laughs> I don't know if they ever said cat food. That nigga wait, 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 back up, back up, back up. You, you, you slammed Domino and yelled so loud that you yelled the tooth out. Yeah, well, I, apparently the tooth was gonna come out anyway. I never felt any problems with the tooth, and they people still talk about this to this day. And my best friend was there. She bringing up all, the, and I just was like Domino, and had got twenty, and the shit just said do do do, and everybody got real quiet. And I, just, I was embarrassed, but I start laughing. That's why I was dating Jay Jones. So the nigga I'm fucking with is sitting right next to me and watch my tooth get the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what, what forced it out? Was it a syllable? <laughs> a syllable. Like, was it dom or was it no? Or was it like. <laughs> it was at the end, because you know, you go domino and then you slam. And then that shit, it's like the everything pop. Because I used to play dominoes real wild pop. And then the tooth just like. Doo, 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 and it oh, was it was on the there. slam. Yes. Oh, the I vibration of the slam. I mean, that tooth saw really? those yeah. other dominoes and was like, I'm coming <laughs> home. Get <laughs> it. Yeah, it like no. vibrated up her. What the fuck? I mean, if in all honesty, it might have been the bus. You know what I mean? You could have slammed bounce and gave yourself no, a, a chin <laughs> check from the, the cleavage. You know what I mean? That's, um, hey, no. what tooth was it? It was is is this tooth back here? Well, you can't see it now because I have a bridge now. It was a, this tooth. So, what, so what happened after? Did you grab it? Yeah, I had the tooth. I, of course, I picked the tooth up, and then I just start laughing because what am I supposed to do? I'm hella embarrassed. So the best way to get out of embarrassment is make fun of yourself. That's and crazy. it wasn't like it was a bunch of blood, nothing like I. You guys, I still to this day don't know how the tooth just came out. It came no blood, out. no nothing. And it wasn't bleeding like that. Nothing. It was a little bit, but it wasn't gushing like you would think it would be. No. Mm -hmm. And then no, I that was girl, that was the water. Lord trying to humble you because you was out here winning all type of dominoes. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, call my best friend on the phone right now. She would tell that story crying, yo. yo it is, and that was that. That's people crazy. just bring it up. Yeah. And just <laughs> gargle. <laughs> Kanisha and be having all the then she was telling us about these crickets in her house. I'm like, oh my gosh, Kanisha. In your house? Yo, I have a cricket infestation, okay? Well, I left to Seattle and I came back. It's four billion crickets in here. And I found out because they was throwing a whole party in the kitchen. You know how shit sounds real loud? I'm like, this sounds so loud. I get up, it's a bunch of them throwing a full concert, Joe. You know, they're in there rubbing their legs and shit. So I have to start killing them. And normally I will put them outside if it's one. You know, like, oh, let me set you outside. It was so many. And my daughter is screaming like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I'm just, I'm like, I have to kill them. It's them and some ants. And so the exterminator, I had to take everything out of my cabinets, everything out of my, you know, whatever. And the other day, um, I had seen them in the kitchen and I didn't even kill them. I was like, I'm gonna let these niggas kick it over the weekend because the exterminator's coming Monday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, was just, I didn't kill no bugs this weekend. I was like, I'm gonna just let them live because they don't even know what's Yo. coming. So I I let them have the weekend. Party and show shit. Listen, left some crumbs out for them to eat up, nigga, last supper. Cause this you got you gotta play a ah. type of hype and see if they do the kid and play dance. <laughs> <laughs> Kicking it all to find out I had the wrong day and the exterminator is coming next Monday. So all my shit is out my cabinets <sighs> and I let these niggas live and well, they, you, should, you need to again. get no, you need to go to the store and get taro T E R R O. It's like this little clear, it's a sweet liquid. It's a basically it's a sweet poison. But yeah, put but it wherever that you know how that yeah, is walking in a line. Yeah. Put just it's a little just put it right where they at and they'll go in there and eat it because they think it's like sweet and they'll take it back to the nest and then but actually it's poison so they give it to the queen it kills the queen it kills all Man. the ants they'll be gone a couple of days forget all that there you Get go a, bam Get you know lizard. about tarot 
get a lizard, get a bearded dragon. They eat crickets <laughs> and ants. And then you can just, you could just feed and then it, you're not killing it for no reason, you know? And then she That's got freaking lizard poop all over her kitchen. Well, you got to take Wait, care of the what? lizard, yeah. I'm not saying that them niggas are in the kitchen, they're in the bedroom, they're in the bathroom, they're kicking in the tub. I'm like, yo, I mean, I'm talking about it's a gang of crickets in here, yo. I'm surprised they're making noise right now. And grasshoppers, because some of them don't be making noise, so it's a combination. When, when what noise do grasshoppers them? make? They don't make no noise. They just hop hella high. Them niggas, I be sitting there. And they be uh, you know, you know what's hilarious though? You so calm about it because niggas only trip about roaches. You have, you see one roach, nigga be ready to move. You be right. like, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Yes, yes. I'll get the fuck out of here. Listen, it's, cricket, it's, it's like, so much, it's so much trauma attached to roaches, <laughs> like going over your grandma's house, going over your cousin's house, all of that, and just the, the negative connotation that roaches carry. Roaches like I'll just burn the whole apartment down. We'll try again next Man, week. Man, I'm yeah. getting the, uh, y'all can keep all this shit. I'm out, bro. Yeah. I can't do them. Especially I can have a whole wasp nest in my corner. That'd be like, oh man, you know what I mean? that'd be all right. Them wasps, them wasps gonna come down. <laughs> One roach. I'm out this bitch. Man. I'm burning the whole complex down. The whole especially complex here, down. Because they be y'all be trying to say water bugs. They be like, it's not roach, it's a water bug. I'm like, that's a grown ass roach. That's not yeah. a water bug. Mm. That's and then them roaches bug. that be having wings and fly. Oh my gosh. No, no. uh-uh. And yeah. that's what happened. Remember, I don't know if you've seen the video where I got home from the hospital and I was hooked up to the machines. Them guys left everything open to clean my house. And one of them big ass roaches got in there and I went to chase after the nigga, but forgot I was a, ch well, I wasn't chasing like that because I couldn't run, but I went to go get him and then my shit pulled me backwards. And like, <laughs> me, I, I got my freaking machine and I'm like trying to chase the roach and he went under the door and I sat up all night. Yes. <laughs> I forgot. Like, I was. <laughs> <laughs> DT uh, stupid. Oh shit. Uh, Never forget that shit. I, was, look, I, I mean, I don't like the big the big roaches that fly. I don't like them, but they don't bother me as much as that little one. Because the, the, the big ones be solo. You see that little one, you know, all right, it's a problem in here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's you know, it's more. No, but no, 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 no. But the big ones be scary yeah. because you, they'll start running. The big ones will start running. You try to go chase them to kill them, and then they start flying. Oh my oh, gosh! I almost oh threw my up my on gosh. myself. <laughs> flying roaches. I, I, how they did they even get they the ability to. to fly? That's so messed up. Like that's the hey. worst animal to get that. And, and you know, <laughs> they only fly every now and then. Or a flying possum, you'll be sick. So flying rat? This. That's a bat, though. Yeah. <laughs> when <laughs> when New York fly, it'd rat. be like it's a surprise to them, like like Jeepers Creepers. Like, oh, <laughs> shit, I, I ain't even know I could do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, Jeepers this Creepers. is a good spot for any of as any for us to jump right into the first topic of the day. want to give a special shout out to our special guest today. We got Kanisha Buss in the house. We also got BT Kingsley in the house, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to jump into this first topic right after this. First topic of the day we have, would you rather be a spy versus a celebrity? Now, keep in mind, spy meaning... <laughs> what? Well, hear me out, hear me out. So a spy meaning, like, you work, like, for maybe the CIA, Secret Service, or whatever. Like, you, you can never, like, really be out there like that. Your identity always has to be secret. You don't really have a family because, you know, if you Men get captured, you know, you could be tortured and all that type of stuff. So you do, you're completely isolated. No friends, no family, no anything versus a celebrity, a pop of celebrity where cameras are always in your face. You have no alone time. People catch you going to the gas station in a fucked up outfit, whatever. There is like, well, no... how are those comparable? One, wait, one no, is, and hold one on, is wait. super dangerous. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's really just the isolation versus like... like no privacy. Hey, it's, hey, okay, so just for a caveat, you the finances are the same in both. Yes, five hundred five okay. five million dollars per year. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Five million dollars. You have per year. like the torture and getting caught. Like I, you can't have no friends and family. Like I know a lot of spies but, that. But you got to hear because it. wait a minute to hear because there's a lot like that's part of being undercover is like you have to fit in. 
somewhere. So let's say, for example, you know, Kanisha got to be a, like, she got to be a mom. She got, you know, she's a mom. She has to go be a mom and infiltrate, I don't know, this school because something's going on. That's what I'm saying. Like, you have to still be normal. I know a lot of spies. Can we just, can we just like... <laughs> <laughs> no, on movies like they gotta fit in. Somewhere. I know a lot of spies. Wait, nigga. <laughs> hey, low key, double oh seven. Kanisha's right. 007 was more of an assassin than a spy. Yeah. Okay, but like you're, I, I get what you're saying, T. He don't have no, or she don't. Uh, the the spy doesn't have any, no real ties. Like you yes. might have to be amongst the people, but you can't ever talk to your family again. You can't have a kid you can't never have no wife exactly. you can't and if you do you're directly putting their life in danger exactly okay 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 exactly. okay well actually honestly the the spy probably has uh no privacy either because if they're being if they're sent overseas or wherever by the government and their whole point is to uh you know not only collect intel but it's like you you better be like the government's gonna be watching you not only to get the intel but to keep you safe like if i was a spy i'd well, be like y'all better be watching files, if you're a spy you 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 wouldn't like have communication like that they wouldn't be watching like that you might do meetups i would imagine like I, I, keep in mind i'm just going off of what hollywood has taught me you wouldn't have like somebody watching you or tracking you, you would go do meets in public places and have covert conversations with somebody. They got to watch you though. Cause what if some shit is a setup going down and now I'm just a standing duck. But that's when you would be, that's when you would be like, you're a good spy though. All your conversations are standing duck. All your conversations are back to back. Standing duck. Sitting duck. I'm a standing duck. (laughs) Please don't bring up the standing ducks anymore. What are you doing, BT? This is how spy talk. Back to back, his is spy talk. He's back to back with the. Hey, your profile kind of trash. <laughs> <laughs> Not even gonna hold you. <laughs> you can't do. You can't do. Pat, do, do, go to the side. Every time, oh, my profile is not great either. No, kind of. Oh, yeah. Well, it's Nick Moonish. Your but profile. It's, yeah, it's, like, I was just gonna say he looked like the the uh, the man McDonald's in the moon from McDonald's. Man. Remember the <laughs> with the swinging legs? That's... <laughs> yeah, that half movie. Play the piano late night on rooftops. Man, this is your profile. You look like oh, my that the piano on the roof. <laughs> Pull your hair back, man, so we can see your head. Oh, wait, sorry. Jesus. You look like the kid from DreamWorks drew, grew up. <laughs> <laughs> man, so All right, to hear you next. To hear. Take your glasses off. We can't see. To hear Megan ain't bad, actually. Yeah, that ain't bad. You can, uh, yeah, you got to blend in. Yeah, blend okay, in. Kenesha. I have the worst profile in America. Kenesha will be the judge of that. Turn it's to the awful. side. It's awful. That's why I got my teeth done, because really, Turn from the side. Turn to the side. Do it on your good side. Her breast going to knock that, that, that wall down. It's bad, guys. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's not. not. You it's can not. barely it's see her bad. face. You got It look like her. It was from the side, like you had a small face, like somebody did this. Yeah. Face. <laughs> yeah. I with a small head and a big body. That's why I'm a good catfish. Because from the chest up, I look like <laughs> It's a weird compliment, but you you actually have a nice skull. Like that's <laughs> like that's the whole thing about having a, a good profile. Like your the shape of your head is is pretty classic. Well, thank you, guys. <laughs> come What's on, come on, man. What we doing, man? Did it. Meg did it. Then he said you called her DreamWorks. Grew up. Missed it. BT, me and you are the only ones who didn't pass. DreamWorks grew up. Yeah, we're the only ones who failed. It's the beard, bro. It's the scruffy beard, bro. No, because the hair got a beard. But his shit blended. I have a giant (laughs) head, too. Me and Patrick got our Y'all just ugly friend aside. That's all. Working on the script. You ugly for the side, you ugly for the side. So y'all better look straight ahead at all times. Damn. <laughs> Pat BTK never be like, what? You gotta be like, what you, what you, what you, what you say? Now you, you can't be a spy. All I'm not all anywhere. <laughs> Bus, you see, Bus, you see the transformation? 
Oh my god! You don't need to do all that to be ugly from the side. Just look regular. <laughs> yeah, you had an extras. We said you were ugly before. I know. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to get the hideous. I'm trying to get the hideous. <laughs> you ain't far. <laughs> you ain't far. We, we can't. We can't, can't look to the, to the side. Bt. It's just the truth. <laughs> Oh my God! We forward-facing people. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> Tana. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I ain't hollering at no more girls at the bus stop. That shit is over. Oh my God! <laughs> you shouldn't have been doing that in the first place. <laughs> Listen, the bus stops where you got some of your your best numbers. There's also some, where I saw some of the worst fights, boy. Mm, they fight had makes sense. on that public bus. Vice makes Man. sense. Hollering yeah. does not. Bus stop is embarrassing. I got really embarrassed at the bus stop once. So it's, it's a, a trigger point. Oh, come no, on. it wasn't a fight. Bus I was forward. dating this guy and <laughs> he was buying me a car. But then he told me that I had to stay home. He was like, that means you're going to be in the house by eight o'clock, whatever, whatever. So I broke up with him, right? <laughs> Two years later, I'm on my way to work at the bus stop. And this nigga pull up on me and said, these niggas still got you on the bus. <laughs> 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 Was there other people at the bus stop too waiting? He said these niggas still got you on the bus. And he peeled oh, off he after peeled off and just peeled off, huh? He drove off after he said no, that? No, he didn't pull off, you guys. He sat there. And you got to understand, I worked at Garfield. It wasn't that far from my house. That nigga followed the bus. And when I got off, he was just like, you want to just fuck with me again? Like, he did a lot. He did a lot. Wait, he, he followed the bus? He followed the bus? That nigga might be the greatest bus? thing in the world. He I love crazy. He, the bus. he, he didn't just bus. give you a ride. He waited nope. for you. No, because <laughs> you had a point to prove, Patrick. <laughs> yeah, he had a point to prove, but his whole thing—he wanted to control me. I was twenty-five, and he wanted me. He was ten years older than me. It was the first Good for well, you first for older niggas. You know that's what I always do with young dudes. But he was like, "You got to be home." I'll never forget. We were in there. It was a white Audi. I'll never forget Good it. for you, Kenesha. Good for right. you. I mean, like, I, I Audi is really lightweight. Stay your ass in the house, though. If I get you. No, 8 o'clock. You know what I mean? no. Are you fucking kidding me? No, you Audi. Say, no. All this Altima, you could be in the streets. Audi, you no. got to be like, no, okay? I mean, no. I mean, Damn. no, I couldn't. <laughs> and I was, I couldn't, but that was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. Especially oh, because he just had slow <laughs> riding next to me, though. <laughs> He I probably guess. had a he probably had an ugly profile too, huh? When he did this, so these <laughs> niggas still got you on the bus, huh? <laughs> these niggas still got you on the bus. Well, wait, wait, I'm sorry. This this story is too good. So, how long after he said that did it take for the bus to come? Like, how long was he sitting there just looking at you? Nah, it was probably a few minutes. It was probably a few minutes. It wasn't no longer than a few minutes because this is where my house was. The bus stop was right here, and then I only worked a few stops up at Garfield. Like it wasn't that far, so I don't be at the bus stop all day. It wasn't that far, and that nigga just slowly. But where you get off that Garfield, at it's a walk because the building's here, but the entrance is here. So I have to walk from the bus stop all the way down, and, and then he drove hit the corner, and he was just slowly just talking shit. And I was just he like, watched you go. He I might as well fuck with him. He like you come fuck with me. Yeah, I'm still, I'll never forget that shit, yo. Do you I'll start dating him again? Shit. No, no, oh, no. Good for no. you. I have never seen him again either, actually. I ain't gonna I hold you. I'm never stealing my phone. I should call yes. him after this. Like, hey, what's up? Like, <laughs> now probably, hello, now, 50. That's, that's one of my favorite niggas of all time. I ain't gonna hold you. Nah, nah. <laughs> that shit was embarrassing. I was embarrassed as fuck because it was true. <laughs> That's crazy. Years that, later, I'm, nigga. All right, no wait, so I, um, I, 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 uh, to hear, I've already made up in my mind that I'm a good spot. Like I'm not, I'm not bad at my job. I'm good at the shit. I feel like I would be a good spot too. I feel like. I wait, feel how, like I wait, what? Why would you say you'd be a good spot, BT? Well, if if I'm a bad spot, then I'm I ain't gonna make it that long, and then the other choice is really easy. Is that I'm gonna just be a celebrity? <clears throat> but if I'm a if I'm a good spot. I anticipate being able to get out of dangerous situations. And it's just a question of how long do I want to do this shit? Like, how long do I want to live this life? 
you meet people, but they ain't you. You got, every person that you meet that you gotta leave in the morning is like, well, who was that mystery man? Like, <laughs> like oh, let God. me draw him from the side. <laughs> Why am I tilting up? <laughs> 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 I don't know. I think that the whole cutting ties is where I'm. I, I feel like it's it's unnecessary. I'd much rather be a celebrity that can. If both of us have, if both situations you have money, but one you get to like talk to your friends and your family, that makes mm-hmm. that makes sense. Yeah. But the this the spy thing, it's like, who am I even working for? Like America? Like I don't, Bro, I don't care. Think about think about I don't care. If, the Avengers. If celebrity where you can't go anywhere without somebody wanting to be in your face or a camera being there, Chick Fil A, the gym, running. But the you could also not go yeah, anywhere. Like, like it's, it's 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 like the best. And the worst of being the celebrity, like everywhere you go, is people that are dinner. So you're Beyonce. You know, people outside yeah, your mama house. You know, you live with her. Like it's always like there's no privacy or ever. But also, when you're a spy, everywhere you go, you have to keep up that ruse. So every, I feel like every time you go out in both situations, you have to do something annoying or deal mm-hmm. with something annoying. And I, I, I guess no, celebrity. No, but you get to sure. you get to switch up the other one, just like Capital Beach Party. Like every year you go, you got to do a different occupation. <laughs> and, I'm not and good at lying. So as a I spy, as a spy, sometimes your job is to blend in. It's not necessarily like you taking on a persona. Like sometimes your your job is to be forgettable. So you don't want to be seen. You don't want to stand out. You want to just be able to float around and, and collect intel. So you don't want to stand out. So you know what I'm saying. You don't always have to like put on this persona. Sometimes it might call for you to be covert and just very low key. I don't know. This spot sounded good. I ain't going to hold you. Because the idea of like uh, eating by yourself, not having to pay for nobody else, not having to worry about what they want to eat, dietary restrictions. Man. I ain't got to worry about nobody talking during the movies Mm -hmm. when I'm at the movies. If you a celebrity of of that caliber and you only got five million, you ain't got security be with you all the time (laughs) everywhere you go. That shit is that you ain't really got the paper like that. Why are y'all acting like the spy ain't got nothing to do? (laughs) <laughs> Spy be, spies be busy as hell they ain't gonna be at the movie theater I know, that's a lot of traveling that's a lot of plotting that's too much shit to remember I can't remember shit like that right. you you good no, I, 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 my lies ain't that good I'll be like ah oh, what was I supposed to be today yeah man you tell on yourself you get killed I you will. Get on the job. my thing <laughs> with the spy thing is when you want to quit Will your job let you quit? Because you know so much information. It's gonna be one of those things like, uh, never, all right, man, have a great, great retirement. And then you walk outside and your car explodes. Well, that's when the John Wick part of your life start, where they keep trying to come get you, and you have to be like, I told you, I didn't have to, I didn't want to bring this back. You know what I mean? Just be you and your dog. You just be on some little island. They keep coming for you. That's too much. If you got to watch over your shoulder like that all the time, at least you can hire security with five million a year, BT. You can hire security. Not no good security. Five million a year? That's like your cousin security. Yeah. Well, I mean, you need different security for different threats. And I feel like if you're a celebrity, if you had Drake's security, you're good. But like, if you a spy, the people coming after you, you're going to need a whole different type yeah, you of need security. A different type of security. You need, you I mean, need I hope that if you're a spy, though, you, you can fight. Not Beyonce level. So at five, I know niggas getting five million. They're still going to McDonald's. So yes, if it's right. only five million, then you're still out here kicking. I don't. That's not- I don't. I don't think Kev is getting five million every year right now. And we have security when we go on the road. Now, granted, that's only three days out of the out of the week, but we right. still have security. If you're a spy, you don't. You need more than security. Wait, I like. thought spies can fight, guys. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, if they send a whole team to try to take you out, man, you don't get fight a bomb. How many times have you seen it in the movies? How many times does a spy have a security? Never. Yeah, but that you're doesn't talking about after the fact, after he retires. You're talking about after he retires. Oh, I thought you said they don't let you retire. You I don't. mean, I'm a, it's going to be good. I'm going to be at S.H.I.E.L.D., though, because I'm a, I'm a spying for the Avengers. I'm not... Yeah, if you're not... spying for the Avengers and I can fuck with Thor, then my life is good. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to catch that hammer. I, 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 you know what I'm kind of loving too. <laughs> I'm trying to catch that hammer. Boss. I think it's like, Ugh. <laughs> I'm just trying to catch that hammer, Thor. <laughs> I think it's, yeah. I love the idea oh, of having oh. a high level skill set and people not being aware of it. 
Like I, yeah. I love the idea. Of, like mm-hmm. somebody put their hand on you. <laughs> I hope it doesn't look like that. But yeah, I get what you say. Profile. Remember Lenny the BT? My boyfriend Lenny. So my boyfriend, mm. my boyfriend is a ninja, a real ninja. Do you remember Lenny? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he knows him. Yeah. Alicia. Wait, what do you He's mean like a real ninja? <laughs> he is the heir to the Kaji Kimball throne. If you look up Imperados, he's the heir to the Kaji Kimball throne. His uncle invented the most deadliest form of fighting. And he is a ninja. And I I <laughs> he knows him. He's met Lenny. Lenny is a great A ninja. So Wait. I've dated a ninja before five years. He's a member of the what? Uh, uh, Kaji Kimbo. <laughs> Look at Kaji <this> Kimbo. <laughs> <laughs> the Emperor Kanisha, Emperor Kanisha broke up because he was spending too much time trying to hunt the turtles. He was killed. <laughs> <laughs> he was okay, so he was the heir to the what threat throne? Kaji Kimbo. Kaji Kimbo is the deadliest form of fighting. His uncle invented it in a basement in Hawaii, I believe. Yes. Is he Asian? They have a yeah, he's 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 half, but he looks black. He looks dark skinned with Asian eyes, but his whole family is everything else. They have a I school. Didn't, I didn't... They have a school in Inglewood. You can't sign. You have to be invited into their schools. But there's a school in Inglewood. This is when I was having a problem out here. He almost sent the school after. It was a long story, but yeah. Go I, ahead. Didn't, I didn't believe him until I saw he had on those shoes that had the little split in the middle. <laughs> <of them. laughs> That's what made you believe he was a nigga. That, that, that made me believe well, it. Yeah. And it was a branch on the ground, and he was walking, and the nigga went across the branch like this, like sideways. <laughs> <laughs> I'll <laughs> send you his picture after this. <laughs> wow. I know okay. I have all the weirdest in high school. Marcus told people not to talk to me because I have a story for everything. He's like, yo, stop talking to her. That bitch got a story for everything. <laughs> Wait, so he was you a, got he a was story a ninja? about guys having stories. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let's put it to a vote, man. Let's put it to a vote. What are we going with? I'm going to be the celebrity so I can still have my friends and family. Same. Okay. Damn, you didn't even say the kids. That's crazy. I guess no, family. <laughs> my family. Friends and family. Because <laughs> that's why the spy had me. No kids. No. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting ties. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, BT. I'm I'm assuming that I got into this life before my family got too big and aggressive, and I had lost some people. That's why I was good for this. Mm-hmm. So just under the circumstances, the lifestyle alone, I just can't get no family now. Right. I think I'm gonna go spy, but you know, it's like I'm like for hire. Like I ain't mm-hmm. gonna just you know, spying all the time. It's like, you call me, you make an offer, maybe I do it, maybe I don't. You want to be a day worker as a spy? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Day worker spy. No, day laborer no. spy. You, okay. you call me after after it's all went bad. Like, you gotta... <laughs> Can you go to my what you phone? going with? I'm going with the, I'm going to do celebrity because I, um, I think I'm going to do celebrity because I love people and I don't like to be lonely. Okay. Pat, Aww. what you going with? Yes. Celebrity, I think it's. I'm not. I, I think the cutting ties part is where I'm. Where I'm out. You don't want a gun to go. Days of cutting ties. That shit hurt. Well, as, as, a, as a spy, Pat, you would have to cut your hair. You can't be a spy <laughs> and all you got. You ch- your outfits always change, but your hair is still like that. He's a Jamaican spy. That's he's located on the island having a good time. <laughs> Give me the codes. <laughs> Give me the codes. <laughs> you don't want a gun. Uh, I think I would go with celebrity too, just because I would be. I would. I think I would enjoy the life of a spy, but like I said, like. Upon trying to get out, I feel like they would kill me. And I would hate to like live a long, successful life as a spy to get my car blown what? up because I was tired. To hear you would rather people be in your face 24-7. You, Mr. I like my lonesome. As opposed to like getting killed for doing a good job and wanting to retire. We yeah. didn't say they was gonna kill you. That's a possibility. We didn't say it was gonna happen. The possibility hey, listen, if it's enough. a possibility, if I drive on this highway, I'm gonna die. Guess what highway I'm not fucking driving though. That's every highway, and you still drive. It's a possibility you will get cancer and die and choke on a freaking 7-Eleven hot dog, but you still guzzling them down. 
That's true, but man, ah, guess what? Ah. That's still my answer. You ain't got to question my answer. Just let me have my goddamn answer. Jeez. I hypocrite. <laughs> Next. Damn. What 7 Eleven got hit in the crossfire, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Jesus. He was always going for 7 Eleven. They never seen me eat one recently. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, looks like the celebrities have it on that one, man. We're going to jump into this next topic right after this. Next topic we have, would you rather be a kid's birthday party magician versus a fast food manager? Mm. Well, Pat's already a magician. We made him disappear. Um, <laughs> and so, reappear. Say, so for you either say that again, because I don't think I understood. I a mean, kid's birthday party magician or uh -huh. a fast food manager. So you're dealing yeah. with bratty kids your entire shift or your entire day, or you're dealing with hungry adults who like to cuss or might come in drunk and deal with all the, all of the, the foolishness out of the club. You are, Go ahead, Patrick. I was going to say, you a kid's party magician, so you don't even have like the real legit tricks. You just got like <laughs> cool little quarter and party tricks, right? Wow. And they don't, they don't respect you don't need all that. Magic is lit. You get to magic because the, the kids are in awe of you. Yeah, you're having a good time. You can do the most. Them have people are killing people at fast food. Somebody's always throwing something, fighting. Oh, all yes. I see the videos is, is grown people acting a whole fool. I have patience yeah. for kids. Grown people know. I and know. on top of that, you got to work a whole eight hour shift. Whereas at a, a kids party, parents uh, do not let that go on past like two, three if, hours. Not if you the manager. But what if if I'm good the point. manager, I could just do breakfast. I ain't got to deal with them weirdos. That's I still just, eight hours. Y'all not, you're not when, eating, BT, you're working. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, <laughs> the one, I'll just one do night breakfast. Week is Chick-fil-A. You know what I mean? So everybody, Sunday everything off. is fine. Everybody, everybody I hired is good at their job. They nice. You know That's what, I mean? what you think. No, even Chick-fil-A got issues with the white. Well, no, you ain't that Chick-fil-A. Right. You, 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 had a, you had a McDonald's in Inglewood. Oh no, 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 this is it. Uh, Kanisha said it. People are people are literally like rappers and fast food workers are literally the ones that are dying. Those are the most dangerous jobs right they now, have right they now. Are. And yeah. and if, if you're a ma magician, not only is it like you're only working during the afternoons, you're not gonna work late uh, unless they want you to stay. Though your your set is what five minutes? Kids don't care that much. Nah, nah. You, and, you, I mean, most magicians do. What's that? Like, you gotta be there like an hour. Thirty-five to an hour. An hour. Thirty-five. And then, and then they to an pay. Hour, on how you gonna make pay. more as a kid magician magician in one hour than you will at an eight-hour shift as a well, Do they? <laughs> Do they double like? Do kids magicians be like, oh, I gotta go, I got another birthday party, yeah, or is yes. it like, is yeah, it like one a day? Whole, yeah, they do. Yes, Saturday is they day. Nah, yeah. man, you're gonna be dead inside, bro, because the kids gonna be walking away from your little pussy ass. Uh, <laughs> shit, get you, better you tricks than like, BT. Are you guys ready? He's a magic man. Get the fuck out of here. He's like, oh, man. Is that BT don't be time for trying to have like, all the single there. moms at the, at, the, at the kids' party. You're a comedian. You can entertain kids. It should be yeah. fun. Nah, I'm just a magician. I ain't got no comedic powers, nigga. Yeah, just, comedians, my... magicians are funny. They yeah, are got funny. My, have you got ever seven, I got my seven tricks. That's it. That's all you need to do. That's all they pay you for. I don't care if you boo me the whole time. I'm still getting paid whether you like these ugly tricks or not. Man, I'm gonna stretch seven tricks is bomb, in an hour. Well, it's fun. Why are you having fun with this? Ooh, look like you can have fun. Y'all not having fun? You <laughs> you having fun, but the kids looking at you like this. That's <laughs> not. That's not how kids are. We want an Elmo. Children. Why why do you just assume you'd be a bad magician? <laughs> I don't. I, I assume that kids are disrespectful. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. No. And even if they are, who cares? You're only there for an hour and you still get paid regardless. And they're and not gonna can... go right. What would you think they're gonna write a review what kind and of say money how much you touch? Just make it. Are you I don't know why you think these but the motherfuckers. They making getting... like you at least gonna have to come up off like 150, 200 an hour. Right. That's true. That's 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 that's, that's about right. That's about would y'all wear a cape as a magician though? Or would y'all just yeah. go like yep. This, this <laughs> yeah, you can hide stuff in there. Yeah, come out like Magic. this. No, I, be, I did magic and all them digital. I was the shit. I, you was in my thing, Patrick. I would have a I would have a fire ass set because it would be like it'd be double layered. There'd be like a a, a main layer for the kids, 
but then there'd be like a like a like a like a sexy layer on top for all the aunties that are there you know so i'd be like i'd be dressed appropriately for kids but kind of fly and all my tricks would have would be like cool for the kids but like you know, there'd be some adult humor in there. Now, Disney be having them hidden shit in the background. You be like, that uh, is for adults. I know. <laughs> Pag right, out on exactly. a cake and spin exactly. it. You be like, Mr. Incredible is kind of thick, though. I ain't gonna hold it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Pat <laughs> gonna be dressed. <laughs> I'm gonna be dressed <laughs> thick. <Single mom>. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine going on a date with a magician, though? Them trying to do, like, table tricks while your food is coming. <laughs> Bro. Oh, He's there. I've always uh I I did NACA and I had met magicians there and I realized nigga I am the idea of their life is hilarious. Like remember, like every time you met somebody as a comic, right? Every time you met somebody in the dating space, you're like, oh blah blah, I'm a comedian, you gotta explain that shit. Nigga, imagine meeting somebody as a magician. Like mm. this your real job. This nigga said at the magician spot, he said he had to break up with a chick because she kept asking how do you do the tricks and you would tell her. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he kept he trying to get the secret hey she was I a spy said, you have <laughs> rules he said rule number one no magic on the first date he said rule number two if you ask me how to do the tricks more than three times we gotta break up I said, that more is- than three times like a like a trick yep. <laughs> <laughs> three times and I disappear <laughs> you know what's funny I didn't even think about that it's like you know, as a comedian, every time you tell somebody you're a comedian, they'd be like, oh, tell me a joke, make me laugh. Can you imagine what a magician has to go through? Yeah, like, a trick. <laughs> on the airplane, nigga, just want you to... Yeah. You, you gotta pull out the deck of cards all sad. Oh, man. <laughs> man card, I'd be an bro. asshole about it. I'd be like, I would go, like, reach behind their ear and be like... <laughs> you got something behind your ear. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Turn your fucking seat around. <laughs> you want me to cut you in half? Get your ass out of here. <laughs> Get your ass out of here I saw you in half. <laughs> An asshole magician. <laughs> hey, that would be hilarious. <laughs> like me, magicians, and kids party. Like, you guys want to see some balloon atoms? I'm like, yeah, I'm like. That's not what the fuck I do. Fuck out of here. Here goes some poetry. <laughs> See, offer then. <laughs> Y'all niggas a new age homie the clown. Fuck it. <laughs> hey, that's like, hilarious. Uh, that's probably a real magician. You know what? Somebody would hire that at the Angry Magician. For real. That would be great at a dope party. Mean magicians. That would be a fire ass. That'd be great. Company. See, that'd be great at fucking uh at kids' parties. The the fucking parents would be dying laughing. Some oh of the my time. god! <laughs> I'll be in shambles. That's I'm hiring you for Bean Birthday. You down? <laughs> you be mean to everybody except for the kid whose birthday it is. Right. <laughs> no, be meanest to him. Be like, no. oh, you, you, you what? You, what are you three years old, asshole? Come here, give me some cake. <laughs> <laughs> Abracadabra, you're you're two. <laughs> oh, he took my birthday, mommy. <laughs> Got your nose. <laughs> and then you leave. Why do you sound Pat, why do you, you sound so pompous? He has my nose, mommy. <laughs> why do you sound like that? Why do you sound so pompous? Got your nose. <laughs> Got your nose, little little bitch. <laughs> You can start doing sketches as you a magician. Uh, I like this character. Magic, with it's the hilarious, dog. I like this character. Yeah. <laughs> that would be hilarious, dog. No, I'm, 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 cl- I'm going up as a magician, and I'm I hate that the fast aunties. food has to be a drive-through in a bad neighborhood. Well, you don't what? want to be the manager in a good neighborhood because all you can I speak to the manager? I think that's worse all than the time. can I speak Bro, to the manager? Can I speak I, to oh, listen? Let me tell you something. I come in and breakfast the be light. Breakfast be niggas have to get in and get out. Breakfast but you don't shit. you don't always get to pick breakfast, BT. You I'm the you manager. Don't. Who else making the motherfucking schedule? The store manager? You just a shift manager, nigga. Oh, yeah. yeah. That ain't what you said. <laughs> you ain't the general manager. That's what you Report you're to your shift, nigga. <laughs> and Chick-fil-A, I would do six days a week. 
I do one afternoon shift, one night shift. Baby, y'all other four is all breakfast. And yeah. then all the people that work at uh, Chick-fil-A are high school students. So but you they all but they're all sweethearts. No, they're not. Why I do you, you think you're in charge of all these to things? To the guests they are. To the guests they are. Yes, how may I help you? Oh, that's hilarious. Your pleasure. It's, 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 behind, it's the same behind closed doors. They don't have none of that energy left. That good energy left. The Chick-fil-A, left. Chick-fil-A employees the like, yeah, man, then I told the bitch, oh, excuse me. Hey, welcome to Chick-fil-A. How can oh, I absolutely. <laughs> you think they're just nice people all the time? Yes. Not even possible. Oh. The, the world ain't even made like that. That is nah, a, it's a Ain't no video, way. Bro. I think it's I think it's part of the training. It's part of the booklet. Like, make sure you turn up the niceness. There's no way they're just like, all right, uh, bye. and then they're just standing there like this. No, yeah. my pleasure. <laughs> I'm sure they're like, my pleasure. Yeah, all right. You did you did you mop the floor? <laughs> I never I never once considered that the people at Chick Fil A were mean when I wasn't there. Not mean, but regular. They're <laughs> regular. <laughs> Regular fast food workers. <laughs> so like they just turn up and, and, and just be mean for no reason. Hey, <laughs> so well, look, I went to... <laughs> what are you doing? Like I went to Chick-fil-A the other workers? day in Encino. And this Chick-fil-A is always great. It's Chick-fil-A, right? And this dude was just... He had a little attitude with him. You know what I mean? No no problem with the, the, the you know, letters of the, the LGBTQ plus IA. But he had a little sassy little walk to him, right? And he, he so I'm pulling up and he kept walking like it through the drive through and then was looking at me like like, you better stop, but didn't say nothing. I was like, that was strange. So I told on him to the people in the front. I was like, hey, man, I don't know what's wrong with old boy, man. It's like, but just, it's Chick-fil-A. I wouldn't even say that if it wasn't Chick-fil-A, but y'all set the standard for being nice. And this dude was just like, he was doing a lot. Like, he was like, he wouldn't take my orders. He was just doing a lot. I was like, what the fuck is going on with him? And they was like, oh, he just might be having a bad day. So now when I drove off, I realized that they was like, you bitch ass nigga. <laughs> what the fuck are you complaining for? That's what we do, man. Oh, I'm just mad that you went up there and complained. You're ew. Like that. Yeah, yeah. BT is a, he's a whole Karen. white woman. Listen, oh, everything yeah. about BT screams white woman. He he yes. he hoards sauces. Just he's a complete hoarder. He drives a Prius. Okay. He oh, tails yeah, on Chick Fil A workers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. He keeps that that bottle of water with him. He never drinks it. He never. You've never seen. <laughs> you never seen him finish that bottle of water. <laughs> That's the same bottle of water he's had this whole year. Every time he get one, he just pours yeah, the same water bottles. into a different bottle so that he can pretend like he's drinking it. <laughs> Refreshing. It's always <laughs> almost gone, though. How are all your yeah, bottles right. almost gone? I'm, 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 it's it's the same AM, bottle so of water. Shit, like it's it probably up. like a tr- it's a trick bottle of water. It don't even have real water in it. He just do this and it's the <laughs> water. You know, it's just always <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> Meg, that's your other. I saw the gala earlier, so that means you got two bottles of water by you too. Oh yeah, but I don't always have this. Like you, I finish mine and I'll be out. I'm done. <laughs> put that down. It look like I've been over your house. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it to a vote. What are we going with? We going we going with the uh, fast food ma- manager, or we going with the uh, magician for kids party? Magician, I'm super into it now. <laughs> I started on a high magic all day. Oh, I'm going to magician. Magic. <laughs> BT? I got to do magic now. I hey, you know me for the magic. <laughs> all right. So we're going to jump into this last topic right after this. Really? Last topic of the day we have, would you rather change a completely different color when you lie versus when you're horny? Ha <laughs> ha, horny. Gotta be horny, cause that's crazy. Like, if 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 I'm if I'm talking to a chick and I turn green, like that's way less embarrassing <laughs> than being like, no, I was I was never over there. And then you no, turn not green, not like, unless you're like at a place where you shouldn't be, where it's like you at church? I don't know, like a family function and your cousin brings somebody and you like. <laughs> Oh, yeah, all of a sudden, right. you turn it green, right. they're like, oh, Patrick's Man. horny over here. But I feel like you can control that. You can control being horny more than if you lie, you lied. So no, you're that color. But you can control a lie. What do you mean? 
Man, you tell ain't. the truth. You tell the truth, truth. It's stupid. That's no, I'm talking about yeah. once you say it. Once you say it, you, you Why would you say it if you know you turn colors? You Man, like, your cousin didn't truth. bring your somebody. It's your cousin. <laughs> 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 Not even that though. It's so what if you got horny? Could you imagine asking if this person looked good and you say yeah, and then you turn the color because you was lying because they was ugly or something like you know what I'm saying? Like I think that would be worse if you introduced to somebody and nobody like, and then now you're lying and looking colors. I think that's How often does that happen to you? I, 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 I ain't never, never seen the profile. <laughs> that happens to you a lot, Kanisha. <laughs> hey, listen, I, I was a little hornball <laughs> as a teenager, so I would have been changing colors at church, at funerals, at graduations. You've been horny at a funeral? Hey, it was. It, yeah. it be some. It be some dimes at funerals, nigga. Yes, dimes got to grieve too. Hey, that's yeah. fair. That's Mega. fair. I have said weird that. to be walking up to the casket, and I just. Was fantasizing about Grief, you. Grieving sex be lightweight on, on fire. I ain't gonna hold you. No, you, yeah. But and I feel like you can... Ex- all them niggas was fine. I talked about that on stage. I was like, that motherfucker like, you niggas are looking good. All of them was fine. Uh, oh my God, all these niggas look good. Yeah. Right, because yeah, everybody got on a suit. They dress nice or something. Yeah. Oh my God. I feel like it's easier to explain yourself out of horniness. Because even if you were at a funeral, you could be like, man, I'm just... Some, you know, I'm thinking about something that happened this morning or, you know, like, like literally like no matter where you are, you could just be like, my bad. It has nothing to do with this. But the lie, is the, is the lie is the lie is the lie. People still gonna say you're right. They gonna be like, because what? What if you? What if you're at a kids party and like the moms are really old or something, and then you turn colors? They're gonna be like, who the hell are you turning colors at? Like, well, you just you somebody just made me a pervert mama? in that like, example. You made me weird in that example. I wouldn't no, be horny saying, in that there's example. There's plenty of places where it's like, who I'm is just it saying, that I wouldn't horny be horny over. in that example. But if there was a, a a situation where there was an excuse and it was just like a Pixar movie, and I'm just like, well, Miss Incredible Stick, I'm sorry, but. <laughs> Yeah, like, or if it was like a weird spot, like, 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 no, you got or something. I feel like I could always explain it, but the lie when you change colors, that's it. Like, there's yeah. nothing to it. Right. Right. Everybody, listen to this. Patrick is a lying ass nigga. Okay, that is. I'm lying. not a liar. I'm, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is just. <laughs> We're right. just Every choosing between you like, no, I can't. What do you mean? What? How do I not tell a lie? The truth, nigga. Hey, Every time you about what's here, what's worse, your little box turned green. It's a little green line around you right now. I don't be lying. I'm just saying that's what's better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, mean, I do be lying. I don't, don't want to change colors. I don't be lying. I be lying. <laughs> I be lying I a lot. Because there is times to lie. When your kid draw you an ugly ass picture and now you're like, oh, mommy loved it. And I, but it's going in the trash. And right. you know, now she know, like, I just don't want to do that to her. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Are we, you know, I can't. You love daddy. And now I'm turning colors and I'm sitting here lying. Yeah, you know, and now, but shit, this is crazy. No, I definitely. No. The horny changing colors is interesting though, because the only oh, way <laughs> I lie every day. Yeah, I do. See, but yeah. those be white lies that don't even really matter like that. You but know? you still gonna change colors. Yep, you gonna change colors. But what if you you could be horny and people gonna start talking shit? You're like, oh, this nigga Pat always green. Come on here. <laughs> That's just, I don't know, man. Hey, but here, like, what if you hanging with your homeboys and you get horny? But it's not because of them. You just horny, like if you know you ain't had sex in a that's while. That's the thing. That's the thing that's, about being isn't horny. It weird? It can, it's like it why can, are you horny around us? Maybe like, but it could just happen. Text. Maybe I read a text that can be explained through a text or a news. Even Twitter, to... like you could just open Twitter and be scrolling, and then they'll just yeah. be like a full born, like a full blown porno, and you're just like, whoa, that. That that's out of nowhere. So you can always blame Twitter. <laughs> well, you can and always dude, blame your phone. What does that mean for du- like if you're with your boys? Because you know I'm not a man. So what does that mean like when you're with your boys and you your boy is always horny? Like you're around. Not like, always, but if it happens and and it's like oh I just saw this thing on Twitter, you'd probably be like oh for sure. Like man, I like I, it, that makes sense. I, I feel like uh, like men always have to cover up being horny anyway because I ain't had to you know tuck my dick in my belt buckle or some shit like you know what right. i mean like i've been doing this for a long time you know what i mean what? like oh shit i'm horny nigga hide oh shit you know what i mean 
You said hide? Where is my jacket at? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like <laughs> it's definitely worse for men. Women, we be we be at brunch. Man, talk about something that like we be it's okay yeah. for us to be corny all the time. That's all we be talking about anyway. We get a yeah. pass, even with your homegirls, like, yeah, you know what I'm about to go do. So yeah, y'all can be <laughs> y'all can be slipping hide the whole day and it wouldn't matter. It was like we yeah. I've been hiding horny my whole life. Well, at Man. least it's at least it's eleven. <laughs> you you get called to the front of the class, and, and then oh. you feel away about the teacher. You guys, oh man, <laughs> man, <laughs> I was green then. Shit, I was green. <laughs> <red. laughs> I, I mean, listen, if you if you lie, you know you lie a lot. I just always will lie so that way people don't really know what the lie was in the conversation. So just, just lie all That's the too time. much work. That's no, nah, the whole does. The yeah, I stay lying, so I don't. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I lean into it though. I lean into it. I, you know, like I would just tell you, I'll be lying. I, be lying. I forget my lies. What y'all be lying about? Anything? It's, 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 it's a pathological thing. Like I don't even have yeah. a reason to do it. Sometimes I just get bored <laughs> and want to see people's reaction. Well, because it's just fun. Mm-hmm. It's fun. He's done it several times on this show, y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Mike Man, Gates the- on um, Zoom with the homies. Remember Tiny Ryan. Mike Gates? I think it's only, I, I categorize my lies because <laughs> I feel like lies could either be for no reason at all, or it could be for like, if, if, you're, if your lies would affect, like, you know how there'd be lies that you say and it don't even matter what they believe, like life still goes on. Like yeah. if I was just like, my middle name is Green. You guys would be like, oh, shit. There'd be a laugh and no one would care. But there are lies that are like also like could negatively. And I don't, you know, I don't play with those. But yeah, the, the white lies. The white lies, especially like we got to pump up your people and make them feel good. Even Like it's sometimes you just got to do extra, y'all. All these I mean, niggas we, want you. Fuck what they talking about. Like you got to be doing shit like that. Yeah, pump people up. I, I don't care. Were you <laughs> talking about hyping up one of your girlfriends? Yeah. All these- Oh, yeah. 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 But you, yeah. you know, wait, wait, wait. That might not be a lie, though, Kanisha. What if you don't know, know every man in the some world? Somebody that might like her. That but you know what situation she was in. And she knows again. I feel like there's a lot of ways you get out these lies. You know what situation she was in. lie. She was probably telling a homegirl who she knows that these niggas don't want. She was probably right. just that's why she said that. All these yeah. no, because I believe there's somebody for everybody. There's okay, because I've seen some hideous people. people. There's a lot of that people. That got somebody. Yeah, that's but that's you said all these. So that's what I'm saying. So that's I'm good. not but you I'm know not, what I'm saying, Meg. Like, come on. We know what I'm talking no, about. No, because I have some somebody hideous somebody for friends. everybody. It's not it's, somebody from yeah. everybody. Women I do believe so, yeah. So. Because think about it, y'all. It's some people that you like, how did they get anybody? And they got somebody. So to me, that oh, means so yeah. somebody, somebody you're willing things. to share. Maybe, oh, perhaps. It doesn't, I'm not giving, I don't know the specifics, but the point is, money. there's somebody out there for everybody. Just money, that money. But I mean, it's a, lot, yeah, it's a lot of shit you can pump people up with, so. You'll I don't get think that's lying. Time, they ain't never going to win. You'll get it next time, but you know they not. Like, it's a lot of shit. You, I do stuff to make people feel good. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I don't think that's a lie, though. Man, what? is it a lie? You meet a dude, and he and y'all out, and he lies about his occupation and all that shit uh, for the longest, just because y'all out and dating. It's like... But shit, it, that might clear up. That clears up a lot of, a lot of the bullshit in the early stages of dating. Motherfucker lie about what they do. Yeah, I got my own, you know what I'm saying, transportation system. And then start lying like, nigga, all right, I work for Uber. Yeah. yeah. Was there a point where you guys didn't tell people That's you were That's not a comedian? lie. <laughs> you said what? Was there a point where you didn't tell people you're comedians? Like, I would just be like, I, I'm a teacher. If they don't, I still before. do that shit today. Yeah. If I don't feel like talking about that shit, I'm mm-hmm. in marketing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a nigga Arvin used to tell people he was an accountant for the Crips when we were on planes, so people could start talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. An nigga, accountant? That, shit, that mm. nigga, he would say that shit, and they'd be like, excuse me? He was like, you know, the Crips? He would throw up, <laughs> see? Be like, yeah, them, the blue guys. I'm an accountant for them. <laughs> so he was implying that they were all one big organization? Right, well, they are. <laughs> Organized they are. organization. <laughs> Crips LLC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just Crips. <laughs> Crips and 
Incorporated. Crips LLC. <laughs> That's funny. Is that that shit would work though. When I tell you, them people would shut up so goddamn fast on that play. They'd be like, for the the yeah. game? He'd be like, yeah, yeah, I've been working with them for about three, four years now. Ain't getting like, straight counting? face though. <laughs> they always do that face. They don't. I That's hate crazy, Arvin. Don't but... I hate Arvin? Uh, why? He, he said the baby was gonna be ugly. Yeah, my baby is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> why did he say that? That nigga Arvin Wild is sidewalk grass. <laughs> nigga got no is. filter. Arvin Wild, man, bro. It's here, bro. We was outside the Def Jam, and this nigga was taking people money to park cars, but it was free parking. And then, <laughs> nigga. You talk about dying like the police came, bro. That shit was so funny. That shit was so funny. Now he when they come back, money? when they would walk back through, he give them their money back. Cause like, I'm just fucking with you, like. But nigga, when they play, hey, you can't park over here. It's gonna be ten dollars. You want to park over? Here. Hey, <laughs> like, this nigga, this that nigga that sound like Tyler the Creator. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's about right. That's about right. That's not about right. No. That's crazy, bro. There's so many times I thought we was gonna get jumped when we was out. This nigga is wild, bro. That's a wild yeah. dude, man. Well, listen, yeah, let's move uh, to a vote. What, 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 what we feeling like, people? Hmm? I'm going to hide that, baby. I'm going to hide that. Change colors when you lie versus change colors when you're horny. I change colors when I'm uh when I'm horny. I'll figure out a way around that. I've been, I've been, yeah. I'd be lying way too much, bro. Facts. <laughs> I, mean, no, I, know, I change colors when I lie. I just run away if I really feel like I have to lie about something. I'm like, ah, I can't hear you run. <laughs> you don't change colors when you say I can't hear you. No, that's not a lie. Oh well, that's fine. That's fine. I, I don't mind changing colors for that. But you I'm run away. You turn it purple. And I don't want to answer because I don't have to lie. <laughs> Man, you change the colors. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Kadisha, what you going with? A horny, because I I'm announce it all the time anyway. It actually wouldn't be that new for me. So that's my regular life is. So it's a, I would even uh, yeah horny. Uh, what's up, you buzz? Be mommy, you, you, over there, you over there? Pur- yeah, you over there purple? I see you. <laughs> hey, what's up, daddy? You know what it is. You got me changing up, colors daddy? out here, baby. <laughs> hey, Kanisha, what if you change colors back to normal once y'all like start to get hot and heavy? Like, nigga, this is this stop turning me on. <laughs> Oh my God, we forgot about that. What about you changing colors too? What if you change colors during sex? Like you like this pussy, and you're like, yeah, and you change. <laughs> you go back to oh, your guys, normal. That would be color. That feel good. Hell yeah. <laughs> you do it, but you that do ain't it no better thing. than changing colors when you lie. If they, he asks you, it's good, it's not, and then now you change. So either way, you're at a loss on that one. Yes. Yeah, be honest. I think, I'm just gonna try to live my way. life honestly. I need to do better anyway. <laughs> so, like, whose coochie is this? So you say his, and now you change a whole other color. That's the color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, listen, James, man. Uh, looks like the horny has it on this one, man. <laughs> Uh, that's another episode of Squadcast versus man. We're gonna take our special guests. We got Kanisha Bus, we got BT Kingsley in the house, and then the OG squad. We got Man School, Patrick Cloud. Of course, I'm to hear more. Appreciate y'all watching. As always, man, we'll see you next week on another episode of Squadcast versus. Peace, guys. <laughs>